In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate a very powerful one CNC feature that provides the ability to counterbore holes and always make sure that the counterbore starts at the very center of the hole. Now typically you would use a profile operation and you'd adjust the lead in and lead out parameters to start at the center of the hole. You can definitely do that, but there's a much faster way. In this example, I've already drilled the holes by applying a drill machining operation. Now let's counterbore these two holes. Let's head over to the command manager, go into our stock tool pass, and instead of using the mill profile command, we're going to use hole wizard. Now hole wizard is going to interrogate our solid model, which it's done, and it's identified three different types of holes. Well, we want to work on this hole here, and notice that when I left click on this, it highlights to let me know that that's the correct set of holes. I'm going to left click on that, click next. My clearance values look great, so I'm just going to click next on that. What you want to do is select counterbore. From there, once it's listed inside of hole operations, double click on that. Now when you select that, it's going to bring up the drilling cycle machining operation. But don't worry, just specify your end mill. You'll notice here for tool type I have end, overall length, let's make that an inch and a half, and for the flute length, let's make that an inch. Diameter is a half inch. We'll say that's fine, we'll click next on that. Now here's the important part, where it says hole style, select profile, absolute, and then the depth. I'm going to type in minus 100 thousandths. Very good. And then up here, make sure you have the proper diameter. I'll type in 0.75. Click next on that. We're going to select plunge entry because the holes have already been drilled. We're going to climb cut. We'll click next on that. And notice how the tool path starts at the very center of the hole, arcs on, continues all the way around, and then arcs off again. All this looks great, so we'll click finish on that. And then we'll click finish one more time. Very good. Now let's preview our tool path. We're going to right hand click. Select Preview Tool Paths. So first we're seeing our drill operation. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I'm going to zoom in on those two holes in the lower left hand corner. Alright, so here comes our counterbore operation. Let's slow it down. Starts in the center, arcs on, arcs off. Starts in the center, arcs on, and arcs off. Alright, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.